Hello. Over the next uh, 17 slides, um, we will discuss um, bookstore access for self-published authors, uh, what the bookstores want to see, uh, what they need to see in terms of uh, discounts and um, being able to, to order th through Ingram. Um, and also, we will discuss just a bit about the importance of uh, book clubs. So thanks for being here, and um, let's do it. Okay, so the, the first thing to always know about when you're wanting to get a book in, into a, a bookstore is that you are all of a sudden uh, having to compete against some of the best and the most well-known books in, in the world. Um, when you're in a bookstore, your book can be in a shelf five feet away from one of the world's best-known books. Uh, so um, you need to be able to stand up to and, and, and compete with those books. Uh, all the bookstores that we know and that we work with um, very much want to support uh, self-published authors, um, but the shelf space in their store um, is, a, is their most valuable uh, uh, asset that they have to place books that, uh, that will sell. Um, so if you want a bookstore to, to, to have your book in their store, it needs to be one that can um, that can sell, and that can compete against all the other books in the store, which means that it has to meet a certain level um, of um, of appearance, um, and um, because the space that they're going to uh, occupy for your book um, is space that they need to use to sell, and uh, that's a really important thing to know. Um, as you as you bring your book into a store and ask them um, to give you some of their space. Okay, here's a, an example of a book that that we received, uh, written very well. It's a a wonderful story, um, but the cover, which you'll see here uh, on the left, um, had a very self-published look. Uh, it also did not convey the mood of the story, which was, which is a very dark historical story. Um, so uh, while this was a really well-written story, if it was placed into a bookstore um, with its existing uh, uh, cover, um, it really wouldn't have engaged people. Um, so uh, a very quick and easy and really not expensive fix to, to have it um, be repackaged um, so that when it sits in that same space, in that same bookstore, it will reach out and engage people. Um, the story itself hasn't changed, but the way that it that it um, that it sits on the shelf, um, and the ways that it will engage people and impress people and interest them to want to pick it up, um, has changed one hundred percent with just a a uh, a redesigned um, look. Um, I will show you on the next slide one more book that that also shows the same thing. And here's just one more uh, uh, example of a book that, that is, is also a really good book, um, but on the left it was, it was really flat and um, would not inspire anyone really, especially because it's a book about 
um, how to market and establish your brand. Um, so with just a few tweaks, um, and this is not an expensive thing to do, but with a few tweaks, all of a sudden you can make the book really pop um, and, um, and begin to, um, to uh, occupy the space in the store in a whole different way. Okay, so the front cover uh, is what makes the first impression um, for people who are seeing your book, but we feel like the back cover ultimately closes the deal because the back cover is going to reveal how sophisticated um, you are as an author, as a p publisher. Um, back covers that have just sort of non-formatted text that are placed on the back and a picture that may not be high res um, or doesn't look professionally shot uh, of the author. Those, those kinds of things immediately reveal um, a so sophistication that is not as, as high, uh, obviously, as the books that are published by the, by the major publishing houses. And so when a person sees the front, they're going to immediately look at the back. And for a bookstore buyer, um, if they see a back that is not professionally formatted and d designed, it will, it will make them suspect that the inside of the book, the story itself, is also um, not as pr professionally done as the other books in their store. Um, so you want to, to make sure that you avoid people, uh, to, uh, to uh, avoid having people think that way by making sure that the back of your book is also um, professionally designed um, uh, so that their impression of what is inside is as favorable as it can be before they have even o opened the book to see what is actually in, in, inside. So we have um, discussed the outside of the book, now the inside of the book. Um, so again, I'm going to say never forget that you are competing against the best books in the world when you're in a, a bookstore. And um, we see a, a lot of self-published books, um, uh, and... Um, Often we will find that the interior is just a, a word doc that basically has been con con converted into a p p PDF. So while that may work um, to actually get the book made, um, it, it immediately shows to the bookstore um, that um, this book is not um, up to the standards of the other, you know, published books in in their store. Um, so, to have your book professionally formatted is really not a big expense, um, or it or it it shouldn't be. It it doesn't have to be. There are all kinds of rates out there, but doing this right does not have to be an an expense that is too much. But it's a really important expense because after someone looks at the front and the back, they're going to flip open the book. And um, while they can't really read the book yet, what they're searching for is, is the formatting pr professional? Is it up to the standards of the other books that they have in their store that they know are, are um, fully and professionally formatted on the inside? So it's an important thing to in, invest in, but it shouldn't and doesn't have to be a very, very big expense, um, but it's a really important one. The most important in investment that you're 
you will make in your book um, is the uh, editing. Um, the exterior, the formatting, that's all very important. But ultimately, uh, after a person gets beyond those steps, they're going to begin to read your book. And um, having worked with a professional editor is a really important step. It will be your most in, uh, expensive step, um, but it's also really the most important. And what you want to make sure is that you get an editor who's really tough because bookstore buyers are tough and the people in a bookstore who are deciding whether to buy your book are even tougher. So you want a person who is, is going to push you to make sure that the punctuation, um, the pacing, the flow, um, the arc of the story, all, all of these pieces are intact. That's hard work. Um, it is the most expensive um, piece that you'll have, uh, but it's also the most important because at the end of the day, um, a, a person is, is going to read your book and their review is going to be based on what they read. Um, so to get them to the point where they decide to read your book, you have to have a really good cover. It has to be formatted well and all of that. But at the end of the day, it is the story itself and how it is constructed that really matters the most. Um, so make sure that you find an editor who is top-notch and tough. Um, it will definitely pay off. And yes, every writer needs an editor, um, even the best-selling. And in fact, all of the best-selling authors, they'll tell you they have a great editor. Um, so make sure you find one that is really, really excellent and tough. It will pay off. Okay, so the book is all finished. Um, cover, formatting, edited, uh, it's been made, and now you want to get it into, into stores. Um, how do you go about achieving distribution? So um, at Dartfrog, we actually say um, that there is distribution and there is placement, and they are very different. Distribution in the self-pub world um, means that your book is now on Ingram's list. It does not mean that it will be in stores. It does not mean that any stores or anyone knows that your book exists um, or would want to order your book. Um, so the word distribution these days for the self-published author really means listing. You're listed um, on Ingram's list with millions of other books. Um, but, but that doesn't get you into bookstores. Um, it gets you the potential, if a bookstore were to order your book, they would be able to order it that way. Um, but it doesn't get you into books, bookstores. Um, placement, uh, on the other hand, is very different, and it is, it is what we do, actually. Um, placement is when a book is actually placed into a store, um, not just on a, a list, per se, but on a real shelf in a real bookstore. Um, and um, I think in the old days, I think that's what distribution used to mean, um, but now it doesn't. So the word that we use is uh, placement, um, 
And that's, that's ultimately what every self-published author, and every author, really, um, is seeking, is placements of your book in, into bookstores um, so that people can have the opportunity to see and buy your book and prove to the bookstore that your book will sell. Um, so uh, it, it's important to understand that that distinction between those two words and and to be clear that ultimately what you're seeking is to be placed in bookstores not just to be on a a list now with that said um, in order to be placed into a bookstore, um, your book has to be uh, on Ingram's list um, because once it's placed into a bookstore by us, um, the bookstore would need to be able to o order more books. And the way that they would do that um, is through I Ingram. Um, so... Um, so to be placed into a bookstore, um, you do need to be on the distribution list. Um, and there are, are lots of ways to, to be on that list. Uh, Ingram Spark is one. There are also uh, others as, as well um, that will, uh, when they, they help you to make your book, they will um, also put it on to... Ingram's list, um, but Amazon is not one of the groups um, that, when they put it uh, on to Ingram, will help you. And in the next slide, we will I will ex explain why. So most people will self-publish their book using Amazon, um, and uh, that's fine. And your book um, should definitely be available for sale uh, on Amazon. That's a really important place for self-published authors to sell their books. So by all means, you need to be on Amazon. Um, but the important piece to understand is um, to not select Amazon's expanded distribution option. Um, and the reason why is um, when you do that, um, it, what it does is it makes your book available uh, on Ingram through Amazon, but that actually flags your book in Ingram's system and makes it so that when a bookstore goes to order your book, they'll see that it came to Ingram through Amazon and they will not order your book. Um, and it really doesn't have anything to do with the fact that bookstores don't, don't like uh, uh Amazon, though most of them don't. Um, what it really has to do with is the t terms. Um, Amazon is not offering the same terms, and so bookstores don't want to order those books. So when you click the expanded option and, and it says that it will then put your book onto Ingram's list so that bookstores could order your book if they wanted, it's actually doing the opposite. It actually flags it so that when a bookstore goes to order your book and sees that it has come to to Ingram through, through Amazon, um, they will not order your book. Um, so the better thing to do is to not click the expanded option and then uh, upload your book again, either through Ingram Spark or and any other group 
um, that will that will make your book available on on Ingram as as well. And there are lots of them, um, but just make sure that um, if you want a bookstore to order your book, that you um, that you get your book uh, onto Ingram's list some way other than Amazon's expanded option. Um, um, okay. Um, so enough on uh, on that. Uh, next slide, we will discuss what the terms are that you need to have for a bookstore to actually order your book uh, on Ingram. When a bookstore um, goes to search your book in their Ingram system, there are a few things that they need to see. Um, first of all, um, you have to have a discount that will work for their store. Now, stores all have different discounts based on number of books they order a year, years uh, that they've been in business, and, and all the rest. So to ensure that any bookstore, regardless of their, their wholesale rate, that any bookstore who wants to can order your book, you need to s select the 53% discount option in Ingram. Um, that will ensure that any bookstore can order your book because they, you will meet um, every possible discount that any bookstore might have. Um, if you choose a discount rate that is less than 53%, it is possible that there are stores who may want to order your book but would decide not to because the discount rate um, is not good enough. Um, the other piece is you must select re uh, yes for returns. Um, a bookstore will not order a book, um, even if they want to, they will not order a book if it cannot be returned. Um, now, there are uh, options as to what type of a return. We always recommend um, that you choose the option that's called yes, destroy. And what that means is that um, when it is returned, you're not going to get billed for all the costs to mail it back and, and all of that. Um, it'll just be returned, and you would owe, um, owe the return rate, but you wouldn't also have to owe all of the costs of actually getting the physical book back to you. So um, we su suggest that folks choose the yes, destroy option, um, but it's very important that Whichever of those options you choose, you have to choose yes for returns um, in order to have a bookstore decide to, to order your, your book. Um, the other thing that I'll say, there's a lot of fear around returns. And the fact is, uh, bookstores don't like returns. Ingram doesn't like returns. We don't like returns. Authors don't like returns. So... Um, um, all the bookstores that we work with, um, we really urge them not to order a, a lot of books at once, but to order just a few at a time so that the returns um, are greatly reduced if, if there are any at, at all. Um, and that's, um, and all the bookstores that, that we work with honor that um, because they, they understand that if they order 15 books and then return eight, um, that it isn't as, as helpful to you as if they ordered two at a time, three at a time for three, two or three or four times in a row. Um, that way you have no returns. There's orders happening constantly um, and um, and you earn 
from Ingram. Um, but definitely, at least the fifty, or uh, you you should have a fifty three percent discount in Ingram, um, and you need to click uh, to click um, yes for returns. So, ultimately, um, you need to make it e easy for a store um, to, to say yes and to remove as many of the hurdles um, that, um, that would keep a bookstore from ordering your, your book. So you have to set the discounts, as I was saying, and the returns. Um, you also have to make sure that your book it is available through, through Ingram because bookstores will not order directly from you. Um, if they did, they would be placing orders with hundreds of different people every month, and that is just not what they can do. Um, and also, as we started with, um, to remove all of the the hurdles that come with a with a subpar cover or a poorly f formatted book, all of these things, if you do them well, will immediately remove all those hurdles and will make it e easy for a store to, to say yes. Bookstores always want to support local authors. So even if your book doesn't meet all of the standards of the other books in their store, the fact that you are a local author may, for some bookstores, be all that they need to place your book into their, their store. Um, but with that said, if your goal is to get into bookstores beyond those right in your local area, you're going to need to impress them um, with the, you know, buy the book itself um, because they aren't going to know you and they aren't going to feel compelled to place your book into their store because you live in their town. Um, so for that, you're going to need a plan. Um, obviously, you can reach out to stores uh, on your own, but at some point that gets um, too far and wide for for any author uh, on their own to be able to do. And that's ultimately what Dart Frog does, is um, we have partnered with bookstores. We are partnered right now with 65 bookstores, um, and um, those bookstores trust us to vet and to place into their stores um, books that meet all of the, the needs that, that they have, um, meaning the cover, the formatting, the story itself, the editing, and all the rest. Um, uh, so that is ultimately what, what we do um, at Dart Frog, um, is we, we help authors um, get access to bookstores beyond their local stores. Um, and to do that, um, there are very specific standards that, that have to be met, um, which are those that we have, have already explained uh, in this t talk. So just a few words on book clubs, um, which is really an enormously important part of your outreach um, because book clubs obviously are, are people uh, who gather because they love to read and are always looking for a new book to read and to discuss. Um, so that's a perfect fit for introducing them to your book. Um, so the question really is, is how do you engage, uh, book clubs? So, 
So obviously one option is to seek out the individual book clubs, um, perhaps on online or in your town, and ask them if they would want to read your book. Um, but just like bookstores, a book club um, will be reluctant to read a book that does not present itself as a fully professional um, you know, book that can compete with the, with the major publishing houses', houses books that that book club reads. Um, and so for this, f for this reason, we have, um, we, ha we now have a p partnership with uh, bookclubs.com, it's spelled with a Z. Um, they have a network of uh, over 3,000 book clubs, um, and they, just like bookstores, trust us to vet uh, books and then, um, and then um, directly pr pr promote um, those books to their book clubs. We, we, we are the only indie published books uh, on their site, and we place three per month. And this is, um, th this is one way to, um, to, to be able to access book clubs um, all at once, you know, in, in mass, as opposed to, to hunting around um, to reach one book club at a time uh, on, uh, on, online. But ultimately, it is the same process of, um, of clearing all of the hurdles so that the quality of the book um, is one um, that can... Um, that can compete against the other books in in these book clubs um, that 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 they read. Um, okay, one more slide here. So at the end of the of the day, um, access to bookstores um, uh, really comes down to. vetting um, and uh, if your book meets the standards um, that uh, allow it to um, to uh, occupy space in a bookstore um, then um, then our goal um, through dart frog is to to then give you the opportunity um, to gain nationwide placement um, and book club placement, um, but uh, nationwide placement into bookstores. So not distribution on a list, but actual placement into stores. Um, reaching out to your local bookstore is always an, an option, of, of course, um, and, um, and most bookstores are very, are very receptive to their local authors. Um, but even with that said, uh, making sure, um, that you have checked all of the boxes that you now know that a bookstore needs to have checked before they will really want to have your book in their store. Um, you can make it much easier for your local bookstore or the bookstores in your area or your state even if you will want, want to go to each of those on your own that's great but you'll make it much easier for them to say yes um, if you have done all of these things so that when they hold your book they're impressed when they flip it over they see the back cover they're impressed when they flip it open and they see that it is for formatted well, they'll be impressed. They may read a half page or so, and they'll see that it is written well. Um, and then they're going to ask you 
huh, this looks like a nice book. Is it on Ingram? And you can say, yes, and I offer the standard discount of 53%, and we also offer returns. All of a sudden, you've removed all the hurdles for that bookstore to be able to say to you, wonderful, um, we would be happy to have your book in our store. And um, that's what we do on a, on a larger scale, but that's what you can do as well um, by walking into your own bookstore in town or in your state um, and making sure that you have all the boxes checked um, so that it's easy for them to say yes. So uh, I want to thank you so much for your time. Um, feel free to visit our website, which is um, dartfrogbooks.com. Um, we wish you all the best with your book. Um, and um, thank you for, um, for hearing um, this uh, talk. And, and we hope that you enjoy the rest of the self-pub con. Um, and uh, have, have a great day. Bye-bye.